some very ripe bananas. So we're gonna make some very quick and easy banana bread. I don't like bananas. Don't like banana bread. Everyone else in my family does. So I make them banana bread and we have some perfectly ripe bananas. For this recipe, you will need, it says three bananas. I only ever use two, otherwise it's like too banana-y. You need sugar, egg, melted butter, flour, baking soda, and salt. So it's super quick, super easy, super simple. I, before the video, buttered a loaf pan, preheated the oven to 325, and mixed together my flour and baking soda in a separate bowl to melt the butter. For the flour, you need one and a half cups, and for the baking soda, you only need one teaspoon. So we're gonna mash these bananas. Typically, I usually wait till they were a little bit browner. However, I have been told by several people that my banana bread is the best banana bread they've ever had. And yes, that could just be flattery, but I'm gonna ride my high horse up to that mountain and go with it. I mush these like to baby food consistency. You want them really mushy, no big chunks whatsoever. I use a fork, you can use a masher, whatever suits your fancy. My daughter usually helps me with this, but like I said, she is napping. This part is her favorite. She likes to eat the banana for some reason. Like I said, I don't. That is super duper mashed. Perfect. You need one cup of sugar, one egg, and your quarter cup melted butter all mixed into this banana mixture. We have half a cup, about two teaspoons of sugar. Our melted butter. Oh, and the egg. Breaking her egg, the egg is also her favorite part. Rinse your hands. Let's get to mixing. I used to eat banana bread with chocolate chips in it. My husband doesn't like it with chocolate chips in it, so I just don't eat it because he just eats the whole loaf basically in one sitting, so I don't mind. I make the brownies for me. He's not super into chocolate. He gets his banana bread. So that is next. Like I said, again, it's super simple, super easy, super quick. Put your dry ingredients into the left, as per usual. Not a lot, so we do it all in one go. I like to do like a, like a little flat, little layer of the dry ingredients so they don't fly in my face. One time when we were making bread, my daughter <laughs> turned the KitchenAid on when I was not ready and it flew everywhere. It was like, wow, I think it was six cups of flour. Ooh, got in my eyes, got in her eyes, got on our clothes, got on the counter, got on the floor. Not fun in the slightest. I would look at the camera, however, I don't want another mishap like this, so I gotta focus. There's the oven, all ready for us. I have a hack where I saw this thing where when you melt your butter, you use, and if you use stick butter, and you save the wrapper and use that to butter your pan. It's like a zero waste tip and I'm all about that. So that's what I did. I did do a little bit more butter because a quarter cup of butter is not that much to grease a whole pan. Oh, oh, I get in there. All right. Now we didn't forget about the salt. We just wanna mix everything together first. Oh, perfect. One teaspoon of salt. That's all you need, but make sure you add it at the end of the ingredients. You don't wanna put it into the dry ingredients. It tastes so much better this way. It really brings out the flavor of the bananas without overwhelming you. It is banana bread, of course. Mix, mix, and mix. I will not give my personal review for the bread at the end. I will show you the final product after we pour it into the pan. 
My husband, like I said, says it's the best. My daughter eats so much of it and everyone who's tried it says they really, really love it. So if you need a quick, simple dish to bring to a party or something or to give to your kids and use up all those bananas, please try this recipe. And if you do, let me know. I wanna know how it turns out. I'll see you at the end. This is the final product. It is delicious, smells like banana, but doesn't taste too banana-y. Very quick, very easy, very simple. And the babies love them. Thank you, have a great day.